With retirement just a few years away, what are some things you should be doing to set yourself up for success? I'm JT with Plan Your Federal Retirement. Let's talk about five things you should do five years before retiring. Years ago, I was talking with a client who hadn't saved quite as much as he would have liked. He was still a few years away from retirement, so we were exploring some strategies that would make him retireable as soon as possible. I said, Bob, this is the ninth inning. You need to invest until it hurts. And he sat back in his chair and looked at me and he said, but the game can still be won in the ninth inning. And it's true, the game can be won in the ninth inning, can even be won in the final minutes. But the opposite is also true. If the game was won in the last inning, that means the other team might have led the entire game only to lose it right at the end. With five years until retirement, you're most certainly in the final inning. Whether you feel like you're behind as the underdog or that you've been leading the entire game, these last few years can make or break your retirement. Here are five ways to win the next five years. The first is make sure that you can keep your health benefits into retirement. FEHB is your greatest benefit and you can keep it into retirement and for the rest of your life and your spouse's life as long as you meet the requirements. For you as a federal employee, there are two requirements. The first is that you must retire with the eligibility of an immediate pension. Second, you must be enrolled in FEHB five years prior to retirement. If you're not currently enrolled in FEHB, you might want to consider enrolling at least five years prior to separation from service. This is also a good time to consider your plan for Medicare. Understand the options and the costs. Learn how Medicare can work with FEHB and how to coordinate those benefits. The second thing is know your retirement income. Cash flow is the heartbeat of retirement. Ultimately, the question of can I retire isn't dependent on how much money you've saved or how long you've worked or even your age. It's a question of can you produce enough cash flow to meet your needs. Now the first step in this is to determine how much money you're spending now. In a world of subscriptions, auto pay, credit cards, it can be difficult to determine exactly how much we spend in a month. A great place to start is to look at your leave and earning statement, your LES. Look at the net pay. Your net pay minus the amount that you save each month will give you a close estimate of your monthly spending. Now this is a really good time to revisit your spending plan and get everything in order before you retire. Then look at all of your sources of income in retirement. Do these sources of income add up to your current spending? If not, we might need to make some adjustments. In retirement, federal employees have three main sources of income. The first one is a FERS pension. Know the rules and know how much you're eligible for and when you can start. The second one is Social Security. When will you start Social Security? Most federal employees have three sources of income in retirement. The first one is the FERS pension. Know the rules, know how much you're eligible for and when you can start. The second one is Social Security. When will you start Social Security? If you plan to postpone Social Security, how will you fill that gap in income? Third one is the TSP and other investments. And the big question is how much can you safely withdraw from your investments and never run out of money? I know that is a lot of questions, but retirement income is one of the largest pieces of this puzzle. Over the next five years, you'll want to have strong answers to each of those questions so that there are no surprises on retirement day. The third thing is to understand the decisions made at retirement. What does the application, the retirement application look like and what kinds of questions does it ask? Let's start making some of those decisions now and come up with a great plan so that retirement is a smooth transition. Here are some of the things to start thinking about. What is your survivor plan? You'll need to make a selection on the retirement application as to how much survivor benefit you'll leave. But going beyond that, it's important to consider the broader survivor plan and how your FERS survivor benefits play into that plan. If you have a spouse or partner, how will income change should one of you pass away? The other question is, do you need insurance? What are the costs? What are your options? Will you continue FEGLI, your Federal Employee Group Life Insurance, into retirement? Another decision to make at retirement is what to do with your TSP. The retirement application doesn't really make any changes to your TSP, but now is a good time to start considering your TSP options. Does it make sense to transfer your TSP into an IRA, to leave it where it is, to draw income? These are great questions to start thinking about now. The fourth thing is to check your work history. You know your work history better than anyone. Have you had any part-time work, any leave without pay, or breaks in service? It's really important to make sure that you have documentation to support your work history and make sure it's accurate. Even if you answered no to all the previous questions, you'll want to gather all of your SF50s, yes, all of them, and what we're looking at is box 30. Uh, we, we want to make sure that it says FERS and FICA. 
Now is also a good time to request a certified summary of federal service. This is the official document that OPM will use to determine retirement eligibility and benefits. Any estimate that you've received is just an estimate and it's not valid to OPM. The fifth and final thing is pick a date to retire. Five years before retirement is a good time to start thinking about a specific retirement date. Pick an exact date. Then you can start getting things in order for that date. This is the start of the final inning. Use this guide to build out a plan for the next five years to make sure that you're winning in retirement. We love working with federal employees and helping them prepare for retirement. Five years is kind of that sweet spot to start getting a plan in order. So if you would like help building a plan of success, schedule an appointment now. And until next time, happy planning.